In this video for Positive Maths, we're going to look at the Junior Cert Higher Level 2014 sample paper. This is question 15 from paper 2. During a trigonometry lesson, a group of students wrote down some statements about what they expected to happen when they looked at the values of trigonometric functions of some angles. Here are some things they wrote down. Number 1. The value from any of these trigonometric functions will always be less than 1. Number 2. If the size of the angle is doubled, then the value from the trigonometric function will not double. Number 3. The value from all of the trigonometric functions will increase if the size of the angle is increased. And number 4. I do not need to use a calculator to find the sine of 60 degrees. I can do it by drawing an equilateral triangle. The answer will be in third form. They then found the sine, cosine and tan of some angles correct to three decimal places to test their ideas. A. Do you think one is correct? Give an example to justify your answer. So let's read one again. The value from any of these trigonometric functions will always be less than 1. So we have to check. Will it always be less than 1? So to do this, really, we need an example. So we're going to find the sine, cosine, and tan of 60 degrees. So we go to our calculator. We're going to round it to three decimal places, like they have when they were doing this investigation. So 60 degrees, 0 0.866, the cosine of 60 degrees, 0 0.5, and the tan of 60 degrees, 1.732. So, do we think it's correct? We're going to say no, because the tan of 60 degrees is greater than 1. And we'll write the tan of 60 is equal to 1.732. B. Do you think 2 is correct? Again, we have to give an example to justify our answer. So 2. If the size of the angle is doubled, then the value from the trigonometric functions will not double. So the size of the angle is doubled the trig functions will not double. Well again, let's check. We found the sine, cosine and tan of 60 degrees. So now let's find the sine, cosine and tan of 30 degrees and compare. So again we go to our calculator, sine 30 is equal to 0 0.5, the cosine of 30, 0 0.866, and the tan of 30, 0 0.577. So we see that we have doubled the angle if we go from 30 to 60, but the trigonometric function does not double. Okay, so if we see the sine of 30, 0 0.5, the sine of 60, 0 0.866. So they're saying it will not double. So do we think that's correct? Yes because the sine of 60 is not twice the sine of 30. C. Do we think 3 is correct? Again, give an example to justify your answer. So 3 says the value from all trig functions will increase if the size of the angle is increased. So again, we can use the sine, cosine, and tan of 30 degrees and 60 degrees to give our answer. So let's look at the cosine of 30 and the cosine of 60. What we'll notice is that in this case, the angle has increased, but the value of the trig function has not increased. So do we think this is correct? We're going to say no. because the cosine of 30 degrees is greater than the cosine of 60 degrees.
D. Show how an equilateral triangle of side 2 cm can be used to find the sine of 60 degrees in third form. OK, so in order to do this, we need to be able to draw this triangle from scratch, and it will actually help us to identify the sine, cosine and tan of 30 degrees and of 60 degrees. We just need to find the sine of 60 degrees in third form. So we start off, as directed, by drawing an equilateral triangle and each side is 2 centimeters. That means all of the angles are 60 degrees. But we know we can only find this, this sign of 60 degrees if we have a right angle triangle. So now I'm going to draw a line from the top of the triangle down to the base. So this is a perpendicular line. Now we have two right angle triangles. So I've bisected the angle at the top. So now I have two angles, 30 degrees. And also, now I have a distance of one centimeter for the right hand side of the base. Now I'm just going to draw out the side of the triangle that I'm going to use. So I have a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse is 2, one of the sides is equal to 1, I have 60 degrees and I have 30 degrees. So again we're looking for the sine of 60 degrees. So in order to find the sine we need the opposite side which is missing. So we're going to use the theorem of Pythagoras to find it. Just going to put x here for now. So 2 squared is equal to x squared, 1 squared. So 4 is equal to x squared plus 1. 3 is equal to x squared. So x is equal to the square root of 3. So now we can identify that the sine of 60 degrees. It's the opposite over hypotenuse. So it's the square root of 3 over 2. And it's in third form because I have a square root sign involved. So it's important that we can draw out this triangle because we may be asked to find the sine, cosine or tan for 30 degrees or for 60 degrees. We also need to be able to draw the triangle to find the sine, cosine and tan of 45 degrees in third form as well. For more information visit positivemaths.ie, email us at info at positivemaths.ie and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.